Yeah. We're live. We're live? Yeah. Right. Um, we're going to start letting a few more people join. Um, and we're going to let these just sit and enjoy the sun. I quite like being on this arena because it's quite a nice sunny day for them to sit and pick at the grass and see something very different. Um, you've got to think that obviously since they were babies they've not they've seen different areas. They've started coming over to Gauntlet more now um, and it's not having to come home with me anymore. So it's quite nice for them to see something very different. And as a baby you are very inquisitive. It's just like if you look at toddlers or young children, you're very inquisitive at that age because you're seeing all these different new things and these are exactly the same. So it's really nice to bring them on the arena. They can see some of the other birds, um, have a pick of the grass and just enjoy the sun. Um, now you may think that these are actually going to be getting quite hot sat in this heat, but it is quite a hot day. Um, and that's why they've got this gorgeous white. You can see that all of them have, have got them small black feathers, but the most of it's white. And <laughs> white keeps them nice and cool. We all know that the colour white, that's why in a lot of different countries where it's a little bit hot, you have the houses that are, that are white because it keeps it cool. Black attracts the heat, whereas white doesn't. So that's why they're this gorgeous white colour. So you do find them all over Europe and they will go over and migrate to Africa. Um, in the winter seasons of Europe and they need that, that white gorgeous feathers that they've got in order to keep them cool in them hot temperatures haven't you? Have we got quite a few people? We've got 12 at the moment. 12? Right we'll go ahead and oh you're standing up. Um, so this is number three and as you can see from the last time I did the video um, this one was standing up but the rest of them weren't really standing they were finding their feet and finding that muscle to be able to reach up um, now since if you did watch the last video we did with the storks you will have seen that they have grown quite a lot since then um, they're going up between about 50 grams to 100 grams per day and it's going a bit higher now um, because especially number three here is going into that rapid growth stage where he's starting to stand he's finding his muscles he's still a bit shaky on his feet um, but that will just build the muscle will just build and the strength in the legs until he's going to be able to stand up down tall. <laughs> so, another one and another one this is number two he's just peed on your brother and <laughs> um, this is number two so he is he's the second oldest he's coming up to four and a half weeks now and um, so this is is the time where they are starting to stand a little bit more um, especially when they, they want to go to the toilet and they've also learned now that I've been feeding them out of this bucket and these three who can stand dead strong think it's hilarious to reach the head over the bucket and stand up because uh, they can nearly reach the food out of it whereas before they couldn't so they're starting to steal more food off me um, you're just enjoying the sun but we just thought we'd do a video to show you the progress and growth a lot of people don't actually they're a bit shocked when they see how fast these birds actually grow compared to other birds that we've got that will grow quite slowly you'll see change over over weeks but with these you see changes within a day um, of the strength of them and these feathers you can see they're starting to get the more mature feathers um, especially this one here he's starting to lose that fluff begin with this this fluff whether it's an owl whether it's an eagle and then they'll start to lose that and grow these mature feathers um, and it's a very different feeling he's all fluffy down here and these feel like proper adult stork feathers so that will keep going they're eating a bit more at the moment because they're feeding them feathers and they're growing them it takes a lot of energy to be growing them new feathers out so that's part of the reason why they are eating so much um, at this moment in time is to grow them gorgeous mature feathers so they're doing a fantastic job um, and I hope you can see the change in them if you did watch the video that we did last Saturday on them um, I hope you can see the growth that they've actually built because it's quite incredible how they've changed um, if you've got any questions about them, anything please do go ahead and comment um, and I'll do my best to answer as, as many as possible um, but they're all doing dead well. You can see that these these three are more babyish. So they just want to sit in the sun and chill. Uh, whereas these two are a little bit more inquisitive. And they're picking at the grass. <laughs> Generally we'll find with our mature stalks is 
you'll see that we're planting a lot more now the summer um, is, is kicking in just because at this time we'd be getting a lot busier um, and at the moment obviously with us being short we can't make that possible but usually we'd be a lot busier at this time and it's quite funny that in the in the summer if you've been to Gauntlet you'll know our three o'clock show has a lot of birds coming out at the end um, quite a lot of birds storks, marabous, pelicans, kites, vultures um, and so many more and the white storks Keith and Mr Red who are in our shows here at Gauntlet I think it's absolutely hilarious to go over to that pond and rip the plants out uh, plants that we've worked really hard to grow so fingers crossed we don't bother doing that this year um, and no doubt these five will start yeah we got a few so um when will you name them when will i name them um they're getting to that age now where i can name them um and there's five of them so obviously any name suggestions that anybody has got for them i am going to sort of start naming them in the next few weeks when they get a little bit bigger um this big one has already pretty much got the name of Biggie just because he's always been the big one obviously because he's the oldest um, and we just nicknamed him Biggie so it kind of stuck so this one's definitely called Biggie the rest of them haven't got names so I am going to be naming them in the next few weeks but any suggestions please do comment below and we'll definitely have a look at some of your name suggestions then we got another one um hi guys what weight are they now weighing them before and after meals it's really important to see how much weight they're putting on daily um, so they are on these three are on three feeds a day just because they are younger and these two are on two feeds a day so I'm weighing them before and after are you all right? um, and he came in this morning at 2350 grams which is quite a large weight when you compare it to the other birds we've got in the center he was at 2,300 grams, um, you were at 2,250 and these two have only just hit 2,000 grams so there's nearly 400 grams in difference between the youngest one to the largest one so they're growing quite rapidly. Yesterday he put on 200 grams in a day so it varies between 50 all the way to 200 grams so they're quite a heavy weight at the moment. I think we worked it out that he is a similar weight now to a hooded vulture and if you've come to Gorla and flown a hooded vulture it comes down with quite a, a hard hit on your hand and he's at quite a similar weight to, to what that would be at the moment. Are you standing up and showing off? <laughs> We've got another question. Do you know if they're boys slash girls? Yeah. We genders between the different weights that they are um, they'll we'll definitely have a look at it when they're a little bit older uh, one thing that we do use is there's a, a magnet um, that we can use to to sex each of the birds and um, we can we can use that so we've been having a look at that but it's not definite to what what the genders are we're definitely starting to get indication though um, but We'll do it when we're a little bit older and it can be a little bit clearer as to whether they are boys or girls. Um, how old were they when he begin to fly? Well, they're starting to they're flap starting a bit. To really, um, one thing is we've, we've put them in a, a big, big aircraft crate uh, with an open top and it allows them to be able to stretch out their wings. When they all want to stretch, they'll all put out the wings. Um, Biggie is really starting to, to open their wings and he likes to sort of flap them. Um, at the moment with him still having his, his baby feathers and not all the mature feathers, he's not flying just yet. We think in the next next couple of weeks we'll start to see him trying a little bit more. Um, oh, are you he's eating, eating grass. grass. And we'll have to wait so the next four, well, five to six weeks we'll start to see them trying to sort of fly on the following on. So, We'll definitely be putting videos on to when he starts flying all the way to the end one. What are you laughing at? He's eating grass. <laughs> Do you want to eat some grass? 
Um, now a lot of people ask what is that noise that they are making. Um, it's a little bit of companionship. Obviously I've had all of these since they were eggs. So to them I'm mum. Um, so it's a companionship call as well as a I want food. It's an I want food and a companionship call. It sometimes can be aggression um, but you can normally tell that through the way they're acting the body language it's very easy to to see it especially with me knowing them from when they're younger so that is just companionship because i'm mum to them so yeah do you want food <laughs> now him holding me like that he's not putting any pressure on him whatsoever that's just a little nudge saying you've got me out in the sun i want some food now uh, but he's not holding on hard as you can see they're doing really well. They're doing really well. Um, <laughs> he's sort of the, the older brother, so there is a massive pecking order. Um, none of them will step out of line with this big one. The little one tries to. Um, this one here, he's really naughty. And he tries to push the buttons um, of the two older ones. And they have none of it. So he's starting to learn. Uh, with the little siblingly arguments, but they're, they're there. One thing they will do is they'll preen each other. So you may have seen when you come to Gauntlet that every bird of prey will preen, and what they're doing is they run every single feather through the beak to make sure that they're completely clean and immaculate. And what these will all do is they'll all preen each other, and um, so they'll sit there and preen each other's feathers. They're all getting along dead well, and they're doing fantastic. So we can't wait for them to start a little bit more on the arena and hopefully if you come back to Gorla in, a, in months to come, uh, hopefully you'll see them doing a bit of flying in the show which would absolutely be fantastic. Are you having a little argument? Yeah, this is the little one that you just push the buttons of the older ones, it's a little bit... This is the longest he's ever stood up for. Not at the moment, no. no. Well, we sort of wanted to do this video, obviously, just to show you the progress of them. Now, with it being breeding season, we have got quite a few birds that are breeding. Um, so we do have a few new arrivals, which will be sort of in the videos to come. Um, but these are our, our new arrivals, and they're doing fantastic. One thing I am going to do is I've been doing little video diaries for each of them, so I've got pictures and videos from the when they were about that big all the way to now this big uh, weighing in it similar to what hooded vulture would be which is absolutely crazy considering <laughs> they're only babies and um, now the height he's not quite there for, for the tallest yet they'll get between about 100 to 115 centimeters in height so it's close he's getting taller by the day say hello he's saying hello Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, we've got another question. Oh, go ahead. How tall will he be when they're fully grown? Um, between 100 to 115 centimetres, they grow to in height. Um, they're not weighing in. Weighing in at about six pounds, so about seven and a half. Ours range mainly between six pounds to seven. Um, so that's how sort of heavy they'll get. Hello. They'll get pretty tall Hello. It's about up to here, uh, which is, is a large height, especially when you stood next to me because I'm not that tall. Um, but they are, they will, will keep growing. So they'll look completely different. Um, they'll keep this gorgeous, you see, I always say that they've got sort of eyeliner on their eye. Um, and they'll keep that. Obviously, the colours of the feathers, they'll keep them black tips and the white, the white full feathers. Um, but they're going to get a lot taller. If you've come to go on the regular and you've seen some of our white shorts, one of the differences that you will see is that their legs will go an orange colour. Um, it's very strange for me when, when I've had them at a young age to see that they actually had white legs, which is a bit weird because I'm used to the stalks having orange. So that will start to develop as they get a little bit older. Um, I can't wait for them to look different. So fingers crossed when we do open, when it's safe to, which I'm hoping is soon. Um, you might be seeing these five white shorts looking quite different down to the different things that will change, different features, just like their orange legs um, and the gorgeous feathers that will come into place. But yeah, any name suggestions that you've got, do 
do comment and I'll have a look at them because it'd be nice to get some cool names for them all. <laughs> uh, but I think what we are going to do is we're going to feed them. Um, so I'm going to show you now, when I last did a video they were eating sprat but they were having it cut in half um, because they were still quite young whereas every single one of them now can take a full sprat down in one. So it's a little party trick for them. So I'll give you one first because you're right in the front of the camera. with no fluff that they can just digest dead easily. Um, got that? No? Are we all fed? Yeah? Well no, we just wanted to show you the progress of them. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing how much they've grown um, in the last week. It's quite crazy to see the amount of weight they've put on and the height that they've got to, to the point where they're now reaching over that bucket, which has happened literally in a week. So I do hope you've enjoyed meeting them. I think what we're going to do is we are going to give you a sneak peek into what next week's live is going to be. Um, so we've got two lives obviously going on next week just like we have every single week. However, one of our lives next week is showing you some more of our new arrivals. Now you may have seen these new arrivals on Instagram and Facebook but we thought we'd bring you a, one a little bit closer. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'll take the camera and show you the stalks a little bit closer and you're going to go and get... Yeah, I'll... Yeah. So I'm just having a look at the different questions. Um, so yeah, when they're, when they're flying, um, all our birds will fly in the seasons and they'll molt the feathers. So all birds molt the feathers. It's normally a duration time of about, it can be two months, it can be three months um, and every single bird will molt them feathers. So usually what we like to do when the birds are molting is um, they need that energy to be able to grow them brand new feathers through. So uh, we give them a little bit of time off. So Usually the storks will be flying all the way through summer and a little bit of winter and then they'll have about two months off where they're just doing a little bit of exercise and they're not in the shows as regularly just to allow them to be able to molt them feathers and allow us to be able to give them a little bit of more food to give them that energy to be able to molt them feathers. So we do give them a little bit of time off. I'm just having a look at a few of the name suggestions that we've got. And I really like Cooper. I really like that name. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass that to you and I'm going to take these. Um, now these are our two newer little arrivals. Um, absolutely adorable as you can see. They're probably some of the cutest little babies. Um, these are ferret pole cats and we've bred them here at Gauntlet. Um, the, we've got 10 of them, is it? Yeah, yeah, we've got 10 of them. 10 of them. Um, and these 10 were bred by um, two of the ferrets that we've got here called Stella and Guinness. And the dad is actually Oscar, who you will have seen um, maybe in meet and greet and stuff like that. So we've got quite a few of them, but these are just our, our little two. Um, and now are these two little girls? 
They're five weeks and one day old. Yeah, so they're five weeks and one day old. You can see they're still quite small, but they're starting to get that little long body that they've got. Um, and they're starting to develop that little ferret smell, uh, the little ferret polecat smell. If you come to, to Gorland, you've seen the meet and greet shop. You might have been brave enough to smell uh, the ferrets and you can, it's quite a, a musky smell, I like to describe it as, and they're really starting to develop that. But they're absolutely gorgeous. Uh, now they're sleeping for quite a lot of the day, aren't they? Uh, about 20 hours a day, which is absolutely crazy. Um, and then they have their little hyper playtime, which is one of the things that we're going to do next week in our lives. When they're a little bit old and a little bit more active, obviously they are still. They can only go. They can only be away from mum a short period of time at the, yeah, moment, at the moment, just for handling. But then once they hit about six weeks, they're fully weaned, so they're completely on meat then, and they don't need mum. But um, then we can take them out for long periods of time. We got babies there. Yeah, babies, babies there. there babies here so they're absolutely gorgeous um, and we can't wait to show you them next week so this is just a little snippet into the bigger live that we're going to be doing next week where you can see all of them and um, we'll do a little play time all 10 them. of them all 10 of them um we've got one falling asleep right there haven't we <laughs> i'm just gonna sit there and go to sleep yeah and then nestle into my neck um but any questions that you've even got about the ferrets for a couple minutes we'll be able to answer <laughs> Hello. I think they're actually one of the cutest babies you can possibly see. Yeah, and another fact about ferrets is you can see they got these tiny little needles. Oh yeah, are you gonna gonna nip me? You're gonna have a little bite of me. And they're actually one of the at a really young age. About I think about three weeks they actually grow teeth. It's one of the youngest out of any animals to grow teeth. And uh, they can give you a little nip, nasty little nip, even though they're little, they've got a really hard bite. But um, yeah, they're, there we go, a little yawn there. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're keeping all the females we have. Then the males, we've got a few new homes for the males because you can't keep the males together, so they tend to fight. So you have to keep them on their own. But all the females, they'll be living together in our big enclosure we've got made and the rest will be finding new homes. So yeah. So we hope you've enjoyed this little meet the arrival. Oh, we got a we got a question before we go. What do the ferrets eat? I think it's the ferrets. What do they eat? Are you answering that? You can you know you can answer it. All right. So at the moment, these guys are still nursing off mum, so they're having milk, but they're also they start eating solids at around four weeks. So they're on a bit of chicken, and they're also on dried ferret food as a base. So they have dried ferret food all the time. Then they're having chicken around three times a day. And they're going through a good amount of food. Even though they're so small, they're going through a large amount of food. We find that with all the babies, even the birds, that the storks are going through more food than what a mature stork would go yeah, through. Yeah, our food bill's definitely gone up yeah, because of the babies, yeah. hasn't it? Um, which is great. <laughs> um, and these as well, they're eating a lot of food as well. And it's just, just so they can they can grow. Because obviously it's a, it's a growth stage that even the birds and the ferrets are all going through. So they need the food to be able to make that happen. Oh, we got one more question. question when are they old enough to leave their parents so these guys are eight weeks old that's when they don't no longer need mum and that's when you tend to start taking them away from mum and also rehoming them because they're old enough to eat for themselves drink for themselves and not depend on mum anymore so yeah. all the questions. that's we it hope that you've enjoyed this new arrivals video um and we hope you've enjoyed seeing the progress of the storks they're all chilling out in the sun now if you want yeah to loving it um keep posted for the next few weeks because obviously we are going to be putting videos on of how they grow even more and i'm sure you'll see even more dramatic changes in their size and their weight and their feathers in the next few weeks um definitely if you want to see a little bit more of these and you want to see all 10 of them um make sure you're here next saturday because yeah. we'll be doing a live stream for that um any more ideas and anything that you want to see that we've not yet covered please do comment on any of the videos below Apart from that, thank you very much and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.